Hi, welcome to today's video. Today I'd like to share with you the books I read in July. How is it already the end of July? That's so weird. I'm filming this a little bit before the end of the month, but as of now, I have read seven books this month, which, if you've been around here before, is crazy. I never read that much. To be fair, you'll understand how I read so many books once we get to them. Now, six of the seven books I've read this month were rereads. I kind of gave myself like full permission to just read whatever, um, and I, I am happy with the amount that I've read. I know some people don't like the idea of rereading. I am a chronic rereader, so let's just get into the first book that I finished this month. That book is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. If you know me, you know I love the Shadowhunter Chronicles, specifically the Dark Artifices. I started this reread a few months ago, and I finished this book quite early on in the month. I always forget just how absolutely massive this book is, but I absolutely loved it. This is one of my favourite Cassandra Clare books. I'll be completely honest and say there are certain elements of the plot that I don't love, but I am a character driven person and the characters in this book are absolutely wonderful. There is one single tab in this book, it is the first tab that ever made its way onto my bookshelf, um, and it's one specific scene. <laughs> Um, that just like tore my absolute heart out. This has been tabbed since I read it for the first time, so December 2018 I want to say. Um, oh, <laughs> just even like looking at this page, it makes me like feel so much. If you're curious, I'm not going to spoil what scene it is, I'll just say that it takes place near a lake, and that's that. It's that scene, um, because it absolutely tore my heart out and made me realise that like, I picked the perfect favourite character from this book. But yes, I absolutely love this book. I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. I, I love every character in this book. I think Julian and Emma are wonderful. And I love Ty and Kit. And I love Drew. And I love Kieran and Mark and Christina. And I love Diana and Gwen and Helen and Aline. And I just love them all so much. So. Yeah. <laughs> so I had a pretty rough time this month, like I'm not gonna get into it, but I, I had a pretty, pretty bad time. And when that happens, I often go to my comfort books. And that's where these next uh, many books come from. So I had a bad day and in the evening I was like, I need, I need to feel better. And so I, I picked up Heartstopper Volume 1 <laughs> and read it that night and it was wonderful and I loved it. And I'll never stop loving these books. I knew I wanted to do a reread anyway because season two is coming out, but yeah, volume one is just so fun and cute and just a little bit perfect. I gave volume one five stars. Spoiler, I gave all of the Heartstoppers five stars, but we'll get there. <laughs> the next book I read was volume two. I read it the next day, um, again, was having a bad time, needed a pick-me-up got picked up. <laughs> That's not a phrase. It's really interesting to reread Heartstopper now, like, with the show. I think the show is, like, one of the best adaptations of anything I've ever read, but yeah, seeing where volume two left off, seeing where the show left off on season one, it was just very fun, and I had a really good time reading this. Again, five stars. Now, the next book I read <laughs> is not going to be a surprise if you've ever been here before. Um, Red, White and Royal Blue. Again, I was feeling not good, so I, I read, read Red, White and Royal Blue actually more than once. Like, I kind of read it through once and then read basically every scene of the book again but out of order. Uh, also, this reread was specifically because of the movie trailer that came out. Uh, if you'd like to see my thoughts on that, I'll link some videos below. But <laughs> this reread was really fun for me because I read it and then obviously flicking through rereading scenes. Then I had a day with a friend where we kind of just talked about it for hours and hours and hours <laughs> and it got to the point of the evening where like I had been talking about the book and the movie all day <laughs> and then it was dark and we were like just talking, flipping through. Um, I have more than one copy, so we both just like had a copy and we were just like reading sections to each other. And that is like my idea of the perfect evening. Um, I had a wonderful time. It's one of those memories where I'm like, sometimes life is just like really nice. 
Sometimes it's really wonderful to spend time with someone that like you love and share something that you love and like read essentially poetry to each other. Ah, oh, it was wonderful. I loved it. I love this book. I have actually read it again. I finished it last night, but I don't think I'm going to track that as another reread because I feel like I shouldn't. But also like I did reread the whole thing, so maybe I should. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um it goes without saying, I gave this book five stars. Again, I think we're in the 70 rereads now, which is bad. <laughs> um, but yes, I could and have talked about this book for hours, so I'm going to stop now. Continuing on, I'm just going to show them both at once. I read volume three and volume four of Heartstopper. I love these books so much. Um, I'm, I am wildly excited to see this on screen. I don't think we're going to get volume four in season two, so I'm going to put this one down for now because I'm going to talk about this and the show. This is so fun. I think that Heartstopper volume three might be my favorite, maybe, or volume one. Volume one has like so much heart. I love it. I'm so excited about season two. The trailer came out just like two days ago or something and I genuinely got so excited. It's like maybe embarrassing seeing it like it's so it's so cute and the budget is so much higher this time and it's just a little bit crazy to see and like something I keep reflecting on is okay it's 2023 and we're getting the second season of Heartstopper and it is unapologetically about queer joy and representing so many different people the first time there was like a very popular like movie by a big studio that had an audience about like queerness it wasn't even about queer joy but it was love simon and that was in 2018 and to think how much has changed in five years is genuinely crazy like it's a whole other world but yes i'm very excited about seeing this on screen the trailer was perfect there are certain scenes that like i knew would be in the trailer and then to see them like i knew the last scene of the trailer would be the last scene of the trailer um seeing darcy Perfect. Iconic. Also, I will lose my mind if we get the teacher's romance. I'm just saying it. I will lose my entire mind. Anyway, I'm gonna just stop talking. Just stop talking. Okay, we're done. Cool. Five stars. Volume four also got five stars. That one's a lot sadder, quieter. It's, it's different. The story's evolving. But yeah, also really loved it. <laughs> and lastly, we have the one book that was not a reread for me this month. It's a book that I've been wanting to read since it came out. It's a book that I can't believe took me so long to read, and that is The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. <laughs> I was worried about reading this book. I wasn't sure if I'd like it. I, I had heard what happens already. I didn't love that the prequel we got was following Snow, but oh my god. <laughs> this book, I mean the start of it was like a bit slow for me, but seeing what it was like, you know, in the 10th games, seeing Snow as like a teenager was crazy. And through the whole thing, you're just constantly reminded that he does everything for himself. Like every decision he makes is just about himself. And like, he's justifying it in his head as if he's doing it for other people. And he's not. Like there's all these moments where he's like kind of telling himself that he's a good person. And it was just absolutely bizarre. I have so many feelings about the ending of this book. I think I'm actually going to jump into some spoilers because I really want to talk about it. So if you haven't read this book or don't want it spoiled, stop watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs> um, I, I, I knew how the book ended, but I didn't know, you know, like he's running away with Lucy Gray. And in this one moment, he just like realizes like, oh, I can have my whole life. Like, I don't need to run away. I hate the wilderness. The murder weapon is here. I can get rid of it and I can go have my fun, fancy life. And in that moment, he is fully willing to like kill Lucy Gray, but she picks up on it. Lucy Gray is so intelligent. It's actually like crazy because the book is from Snow's point of view. You don't really see just how smart Lucy Gray is. It's always like he realizes after the fact, but before he's even having this moment of realization of the future he can now have, 
she's already worked it out and like escaped and that's incredible like she wins the games yes because of like his intervention but also like I think she would have won anyway she is so smart the fact that like the hanging tree oh my god the hanging tree song it's all incredible I finished this last night so it's all very fresh um the fact that okay Sejanus as a character was like wonderful I love I genuinely loved him and like oh my god the fact that like snow is taken in by Sejanus's parents and then like and then he and then snow kills like who is it I can't remember the character's name the one who's addicted to morphling anyway this book was incredible I I'm very excited about the movie now I had seen the trailer and not really felt it but now no like reading the book I'm like oh wow wow okay nice <laughs> But one thing I want to say about the movie, they made it look dystopian and like I get it, it is dystopian, but the games are happening in an old sporting arena. Like I'm picturing genuinely just like an ordinary sporting arena that has been blown up a little bit, that has like some concrete blocks and barbed wire. In the movie it is this like brutalist like museum type building. It looks incredible but it's not what was in the book. But also like I get it, it looks cool. <laughs> But the trailer had so many like specific details straight from the book that was really crazy like seeing oh my god everything there's that one it's like it's the shortest little clip in the trailer but it's Sejanus like throwing the chair and like freaking out like ah oh, I'm so excited seeing the snakes too was really cool it's not at all what I pictured like I think in my head I was picturing it very much like our world Still, I know like movies like to make things pretty, but I was very much just picturing like what we've got with maybe some other technology, maybe like, I mean, they've just been through a war. They're not that advanced at this point, but it's just very interesting. And I love the way the movie has gone like for retro kind of technology. It just looks really cool. But yeah, I really, I'm really excited and I really enjoyed this book. I gave this a four out of five stars. I'm really curious about how the movie's gonna end because there are scenes in the trailer from like the last 10 pages of this book, like right at the end. Um, I'm curious to see if they're gonna leave it unresolved or if we're gonna find out Lucy Gray's fate. Um, I hope we do. I, part of me wants to know and part of me really enjoys that it's left so like open. You can believe she made it out, you can believe she didn't. Um, I like to believe she did, but who knows. <laughs> okay, well, that is that. Those are the books that I read in July. I can't believe I got through so many. <laughs> but yeah, you can see how I got through seven books, considering four of them were graphic novels. One of them was Red, White and Royal Blue, which like basically doesn't even count for me at this point. But yeah. So that's all I've got for today. If you liked this video, you can give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your favorite book that you read this month was. You can subscribe. I upload twice a week and I'll see you next time. Bye.